Good afternoon. I am Dr. Darcy Medica, Director of Academic Affairs at Penn State School. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to the 2020 New Student Convocation. The New Student Convocation is an opportunity for our faculty, staff, and administrators to welcome you, our new students, into the Penn State School community. It is an occasion for us to affirm our common values of learning, scholarship, and service, and to invite you to share in the challenges we face as we work together to create a true community of learning here at Penn State Schuylkill. You are here at an unprecedented time in our history, but you will find that whatever comes our way, Penn Staters are resilient, and we are ready for this academic year. Welcome, class of 2022 and 2024, to Penn State Schuylkill. You have been guided up to this point by your parents, your community, your teachers, coaches, and many others. And now it is time for you to take it from here. We know that you will do great things, and we look forward to celebrating all of these accomplishments with you. A tradition for new student convocation is that we offer advice and it is up to you to decide if you will take it. This comes from our years of experience, both as students and scholars and as educators. We've all had hard lessons to learn, and we hope that you take advantage of the opportunity to learn from our experiences. I have a few thoughts to share with you. First, use this opportunity to study something new. A benefit to taking many different college courses is that they can open your viewpoint beyond your current experiences. You may learn about a part of the world you've never visited, a person you've never heard of, new and wonderful examples of arts and culture, or scientific principles that help to explain the world around you. I encourage you to further explore topics that interest you. And if you find something that really piques your interest, ask questions of your faculty. Sometimes this leads to incredible experiential learning opportunities, including research projects and internships. I encourage you to find a faculty mentor in your field. These are critical not just to help you as an advisor for your class schedules, but also to help guide you on a path towards a career after college. Having a student mentor relationship can transform your education and our faculty are looking for opportunities to mentor students in meaningful ways. Take responsibility for your education and for your course selections. We have amazing faculty and staff advisors who are here to help you, but we encourage you to follow their advice. I encourage you also to find a study place something that works for you, whether it be quiet or loud, alone or in a group, and find something that really works to help you learn. If you don't know yet what that is, you'll figure it out. And if you really understand something and one of your fellow students doesn't, help them. It reinforces the subject for you and teaching is one of the best ways to learn. Overall, my advice is go to class, Find your passion in terms of what you want to learn. Get involved on campus and enjoy yourself. Make your college experience one you'll never forget. Do great things and you will make yourself and all of us proud of all of your accomplishments. Welcome to Penn State Schuylkill. Welcome to the Penn State Schuylkill family. My name is Brian Valentine and I'm the Director of Student Affairs. This academic year is going to be different than years past, but with every challenge comes opportunity, and we want you to make the most of the opportunities provided at Penn State Schuylkill. And speaking of opportunities, yours is the first class that will get to experience our new co-op program offered through our Career Development Center. Kate Zimmerman, our Director of Cooperative Education, will be sharing information with you about the co-op program throughout the semester, both in and out of the classroom. Campus life, which includes student life and residence life, is being led by Lauren McCarthy. Lauren is our new Assistant Director of Student Affairs, and we are fortunate to have her as a member of our team. We also have a wonderful live-in intern named Alexis Williams from Kutztown University, who is completing her second year graduate school internship with us in residence life. Valerie Clay, our Associate Director of Student Affairs, 
is responsible for the important areas of multiculturalism, diversity, and inclusion at Penn State Schuylkill. She will be providing opportunities for students, staff, and faculty to participate in engaging, informative activities, programs, and events, and to join and participate in diverse student clubs and organizations. Counseling and Disability Services will be provided remotely via Zoom by our counselor, Mindy Spolsky. There's no better counselor anywhere at Penn State than Mindy, so we're thankful she's a member of our student affairs team, and we hope that you use the services that she provides if needed. The Health Services Office has been relocated from the Health and Wellness Building to the lower level of the B Building. Cindy Ebling, our talented campus nurse, is here to assist you with everything from the most basic of health-related services to COVID-19 and beyond. And although sports won't be played in the fall, there are still going to be great opportunities for athletes and non-athletes to participate in fun, healthy living and skills development programs. These programs will be led by our amazing athletic trainer, Kate Fullerton. We know these are challenging times in our country right now, but as a member of this Penn State Schuylkill family, know that you are not alone. You have a strong network on this campus with people who care about you. And we will get through this together because we are Penn State Schuylkill. Thank you and welcome to Penn State Schuylkill. Hello everyone and welcome to Penn State Schuylkill. My name is David Trevere. I'm your Director of Enrollment Management here at the campus, and it's been my great pleasure to know you for the past year and a half through the outdated admissions process. Yeah, I'm the guy that's been bugging you for your SATs, for your transcripts, for your self-reported records, and to submit your FAFSA. Yeah, that, that was me. So my team and I have had the great fortune of learning more about you as an individual and what you're bringing to the community here at Penn State School. So let's talk about that for a second. You're the Penn State class of 2024. Let that sink in for a bit, because if it hasn't, you got into college, you made it. Uh, that's, this is the thing that you've been preparing for for most of your lives. Not only did you get into college, you got into Penn State, one of the most prestigious universities in the world. That alone says something about you. This past year, Penn State received a record over 105,000 undergraduate applications for 15,000 spots. Again, let that sink in for a little bit. And today, one of those spots is yours. This past year was one of the hardest years to get into Penn State, but again, you did it. That is truly a testament to the kind of person you are, your hard work, the support that you've had throughout your entire high school year, and you can rightfully show your pride to all of your friends and family that you are now a Penn Stater. Some of you are working mothers and fathers, some of you have jobs working at a pizza shop or a grocery store. Some of you are coming from across the street in Schuylkill Haven. Some of you are coming from across the country. Students in this incoming class are from Elizabeth, New Jersey, Houston, Texas, North Carolina, Brazil, China, Thailand, California, Florida, New York City, Philly, Pottsville, Oregsburg, Minersville, and Pine Grove. You are engineers, educators, future lawyers and doctors, creators, you are passionate about what you do. You are valedictorians, National Honor Society award winners, poets, actors, singers, and athletes. You have a story to tell, but most importantly, you are now part of a community, a Penn State Google community. You see, a lot of people think that our job here in the admissions office is just to recruit the next class, when in reality, we, we shape a community, and that is where you come in officially part of lar something larger than yourself. The community that you're now in is the essence of what we are and is the center of our mission of research, education, and service. You are now a Penn Stater, and that means more than what you think right now. When I sat in your seats and watched my new student convocation, I bet I had the same thoughts running through my head that you do right now. I was thinking no matter what this guy says in the funny robes that I'm just here to go to class, get my degree, and then I'm out of here. But Penn State's Google had different plans for me. And before you know it, you realize that this place has something special that turns a regular student into a Penn Stater, because there is a difference. What makes Penn State's Google special is sometimes hard to put into words, but defining your role as an engaged learner, an active member in our community, is what separates Penn Staters from the rest. As Penn Staters, we are who we are. We are proud, but never boastful. When we see a challenge, we are psyched to take it on. 
we roll up our sleeves and we get things done. We are not satisfied with just sitting on the sidelines. We want to make a difference in the world around us and we want to bring our friends along for the ride. Here at Penn State Schuylkill, our mission is not just, just to admit you and say good luck. No, our goal is to get you from these seats at convocation to your seats at graduation. We want to see you with your cap and gown walk across the stage where Dr. Jones hands you the diploma that you worked so hard for. We want to see you get an internships, conduct research, to study abroad, to, to make fun, to make lifelong friendships, and to make a difference in someone's life. And that is my challenge to you. My challenge to you is don't just go to class and do your homework. Do something with the knowledge that you are receiving here. Excel in the classroom and go out with that new knowledge and make a difference in someone's life just to make their lives a little bit better. So again, it's been my pleasure for me, my team and I to know you over the past year, and we look forward to the great things that you'll do here at Penn State School. Welcome to the family.